again. This will be my second video today. I know the last one was a little heavy, but the problem with downloads when you're, I don't know how you'd want to call it, I'm touched by God. He loves me and he wants to use me. He wants to use my voice to speak truth. And there's a lot of not nice things going on in the world. And that old saying, you know, evil flourishes and good men or women stay silent. Or non-binary, non-gender specific, no, not judging. Everyone is included in my world. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what creed you are. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what sex you are. I definitely ain't going to lift up skirts. It's none of my damn business. All I care about is do you live in love? Do you live in the light? Do you care about other human beings? Do you have compassion for yourself and others? That's all I care about. I had a interesting thought a minute ago it's just something from my childhood and growing up in Ceres and Modesto in the in the Central Valley if you know anything about that especially in the winter you get fog kind of like the coast and that fog can get really thick and what we the neighborhood kids what we do in our little block is we'd play tag in the fog we'd you know we'd take one of them foggy mornings Saturday mornings and you know and take, use it to our advantage. So imagine playing tag in the fog. So you can hear people, but you can't see them. And if they didn't want to be seen, you were just wandering around hoping you'd run into somebody. And that analogy reminded me of the way things are right now. Everything's a fog. And you can hear voices in the distance, but you can't see anybody. And as you go towards the person, they disappear because they're somewhere else. It's very deceptive. I wanted to also mention I did mention the Democratic Party in my last video, but I also want to mention the Republican Party, who are just as culpable in this bullshit. There is no, there is no two-party system in America. There hasn't been forever. And I'm not sure when they all agreed to do the good cop, bad cop crap, but the, the point was it, the whole point was to divide Americans. It's kind of like if, if somebody's stealing from your bank account, they want you distracted so you don't realize you're being ripped off. And what a great way to rip off Americans of all colors and all races and all creeds and all religions by having this sm having this fog machine roll in and just pump all this fog to where nobody can see anything. Nobody can know what's real or what's, you know, what's a mirage. So I'm not, I'm not promoting the Republican Party at all. When I was younger, I, w I was foolish, you know, I was ignorant, and I voted Democrat, and then I realized what the Democratic Party was, and I, I researched my history, and I found out about all the slavery and all that stuff. I'm like, how in the hell did they come out as the, the champions for the poor if all they did was enslave people and stuff like that, and segregate? And then I realized it was the thing that was missing was the Republicans. I mean, if I was a Republican, that would have been my platform for fucking 20 years. I would just bring up Jim Crow. I would just bring up KKK, and that would be the end of that bullshit conversation, right? But none of them ever did. And they don't talk about abortion either. What the fuck? So obviously it's bullshit. It's a one-party system. And I'm against that, you know, you have a choice to make in life always. And every choice has consequences in karma. I don't believe you should use uh, Planned Parenthood as birth control. And I really don't think that should ever be called. A, any building that does what they do should never be called Planned Parenthood. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, goes there to be a parent. And it's an insult to people that actually honor their children and sacrifice and love their children. I'll be, that's all i got to say about that. I know I'm trying to keep it light. But it's important. These are important things. These are truths. These are my truths. And I'm going to speak them. You know me. I'm going to say what i got to say. I'm the emperor of the universe. And I love myself. And it took years, years to do that. To get rid of that toxic bullshit from other people. The negativity, the doubt that I wasn't good enough. Please. And I, trust me, if, if I ever wrote the story, it'd be, it'd be an interesting read. But that's for another day, maybe. Who knows? But I just want you to know that my, my views are very specific 
freedom first, love first, you first. You come first. Not some globalist, not some money laundering scheme that they're pulling on. They're all rich. They're all rich. All of them. AOC, Lindsey Graham, McConnell, Pelosi. When Pelosi, this is a joke. This is a running joke on the stock market. People look at what Pelosi buys and then they flood that stock. How do you get away with being that corrupt that people know you're corrupt? And instead of calling, you know, having you arrested or audit, auditing your bank account, that people are making money on that corruption by just, oh, what is Pelosi buying today? Oh, let's buy 10 shares of that. And that stock just happens to go up and everybody gets rich. Like I said, it's a divide and conquer. They want us all divided and they want us scared and they want us in a fog. They want us running around like children in a fog. And we cry out. And somebody comes to save us. We're already running somewhere else to because we're we don't know where we're going. We don't know. We can't see anything. It's all a fog. We need to we need to get a, a fresh wind to blow away that fog and clear the air. Whether it by God's hand, whoo! I just want to sit back and eat some popcorn when that shit happens, right? I'm gonna be this is gonna be a good movie. That's all I gotta say. Get some buttered popcorn, get a comfortable chair, and watch them run. Watch those rats scurry. You know what? The my anger is because I know the suffering of people. I've seen it. This past year has been a wake-up call for me. Meeting people and seeing their sufferings. That couple that I gave those hamburgers to in Newport that were homeless, they were, they were so grateful. For a fucking hamburger. And it was a mistake that Burger King made. And I, they said, here, just keep their burgers. It was our mistake. Maybe find somebody. And I found somebody. And they were grateful. Because they were hungry. They were starving. That's what I care about. I care about you. And I care about everybody. <sighs> what I don't care about is the evil fuckers running this world. And doing these horrible things to everybody. Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to get emotional about that. But that hurts my heart. And it makes me a little pissed. I know I'm I'm seeping in love. But that don't mean I don't see wrong. And it doesn't hurt my heart. And it doesn't make me want to put a foot in somebody's ass. But I, I, I refrain because it's it's a negative. I'm trying to keep it positive for everybody. If I can get everybody to love themselves, this shit ain't going to happen. Nobody's going to fall for the bullshit. Nobody's going to... You're going to be able to see through the fog going to be able to see clearly like I do. I want you to have a wonderful day. I love you. And I know I love you. I don't care. God loves you. And so does the universe. I want you to have a wonderful day. Okay?